Everyone, welcome Lakeisha to the Mari Show. <laughs> Everyone, I have in my hand three crisp $1 bills. Three. That is the total amount of child support Lakeisha says a man named Ben has given her for her three-year-old son, Laquavia. Look how cute he is. Oh, look at my baby. So uh, our staff did the math. That means that Ben is giving his son one penny every three and a half days. So now Lakeisha is demanding DNA justice I and a sure whole am. lot of cash. Nothing. You know what he said? He didn't even know you were pregnant. He a lie. He a lie because, well, like I said, when I was six months, I see him. I told him, Ben, I'm pregnant. You want to know what he did? He vanished again. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, right. Look at this. Look at this eyebrow. Look at this. Look at these eyes. Look at this nose. Look how he's ripped his. Look at these ears. What do you mean he's not the father? Yeah, right. He is the father. Look at him. And I'm going to prove today, I'm going to prove today to him yeah. that he's the father. Yep. Of my son. He How said, about that? He says, he How says, about that? He says you were cheating with one of his friends. He's a lie. Guess what, Maury? What? I got a DNA test to prove to him that I took the DNA test to show him that, yes, I did do it. Yeah, but guess what? I went down there and you, I took the got test the for DNA him. Test I took with the, the DNA test. It's a zero percent. Zero. Do y'all see this? Father, have a if seat. he ain't the father, who okay, is? Okay, 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 well, fine. All right, so now he's three years old, right? Yes. Does he ask for his father? Or does he say anything about him? My baby don't know him at all. I see. That is a shame. What is that what does what Laquavion like to do? He loves everything. Do you see what we do? Do you see what we do? I play with my baby. What do did he do? He don't do nothing. Do I you see. see him in his picture? He's not even here. He's not even here. I'm playing with my baby. I teach him how to read. I teach him his alphabet. I got it, I got it. You like to disappear. Why well, be around and it ain't mine? Oh. What's the whole purpose? What's We're the whole purpose? Prove today. We're going to prove today well, that you well, are the father. Well, we shall see. We shall see. see. We shall see. We see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Like I said, like I said, I have ben. father men tested. Do you ben. see this? Man, do you, do you see this? I, Zero well, percent. Well, well, if it's that easy, if it's that easy, how many of them? How many of them? So, so, so you tell me. Do the problem. Let's see right. what the baby. Let's see what the baby. If this is your child, is. you'll take care of this child. I want to hear it. In his life I months. want to hear this. When it comes to three-year-old Laquavion, Ben, you are not. <laughs> the Everyone, welcome Michelle to the Mari Show. When Michelle met this man, Lanell, on a website, she fell in love with him. She fell hard. So much so, she moved from New York to Chicago just to be with him. But then, after a series of fights, Michelle returned home to New York. And then she realized she was pregnant with her now three-month-old daughter, Lanaya. So now, Michelle is back in Chicago, living in a house with Lanell and his mother, Shawnee. And both of them are denying baby Lanaya. Oh. Is this a happy house? Yeah. Mari, happy. Nothing about this house is happy. Everything I do, it feels like I'm being questioned about everything I do. Where am I going? What am I doing? Who I'm with? I feel like I'm in a dungeon, Mari. And who do you blame for all this? His mother. Oh. 
Shawnee. Yes, everything is a question. Everything is, oh no, my, that's not my son, baby. Everything is being denied. Everything is just, everything is just horrible, Well, Mark. this is what I understand. You like to go out a lot. I love to go out. Yeah, you like to go out. He doesn't like to go out. <laughs> the problem is, that causes problems between two people. That causes big problems. You think they look alike? Mari, look at her face. Mari, look at her face. Her nose, her big ass nose. Look at her nose. Look at his nose. Look at his eyes. Look at her eyes. That is not his You face. don't know what we doing, Dad. Do you don't know what we doing. Do do you don't know what we doing. You don't know nothing. 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 What happened was that, you know, you, Michelle, you mentioned Instagram, and that's a problem because you like to put stuff up on Instagram, don't well, you? Well, I mean... You know what type of <laughs> you put on Instagram? Okay, but I have no a daughter that looks up to me. You think I'm going to do it with my daughter now? That's I my daughter that looks up to me. I am a mother. Look at my daughter. You ain't nothing. Look at my daughter. 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 So for her to do this to me, she's listening to me and she's doing this to me. Nothing. And I don't expect it. There's a reason why Linnell might have doubts about being the father. Yes, Mari. Because he was burned before. A woman lied to him and said that he was having her daughter. And he went to the delivery room, and once he looked at the little baby, he knew that wasn't his daughter. So me being pregnant and telling him that I'm having his baby, of course he's going to have doubts, because somebody lied to him before. You told me that one my baby. Why is you saying? He know what you told me from through the door. I say a lot of things out of anger. I know you I do. I say a lot you of also, things you, out of you, anger. You not only say... You shouldn't have been saying out of anger. You, all, you, only, you, have you not only say you. things out of anger, you did something out of anger on yes, Instagram. Mom. You put up a picture of your baby and another guy and intimated he was the father. Yes, I did. I was so angry, Mari. I was so angry. When I tell you I was so angry at him, me and him had words. And after those words, I put a picture up to make him even more angry and hurt him the way he hurt me. But they're not yes, admitting any of their mistakes, huh? Well, guess None what? I am going to bring out the woman you would have liked to have considered a mother. mother figure to yes. you. Here she is, Shanae. Hi, Corby. Nice to meet you. Is that your grandbaby? I don't know that she's mine. She thinks of you as a mother figure. How do you think of her? As an internet whore. Oh. That wasn't the way in the beginning, was it? It was not, until I started getting to know her. Yeah. And I lost all respect for her after that, Maury. What was going on that you didn't like? Her flashing her body on the internet. Oh. oh. Taking pictures of her boobs and all that stuff. Who does that? You want your baby to grow up? More Okay, uh, okay. Wait a second, wait a second. Shanae, Shanae. This has nothing to do Shanae. with my daughter. Shanae, what she's saying is she made mistakes. She was young. I'm she was immature, being. okay? She says she changed when she had her baby. I don't see the change in it. You don't? No, I do not. Does she go me. out and party now? She's been gone for three months. She left her baby on me. Oh. My daughter's not even three months old, so how did I leave her for three months? Do you have rules that you think she should follow in your house? Yes. What should she do? She should learn how to get up and clean up. She should learn how to... I you clean this dress room every day! I clean this dirty dress room can every I, day! Can I talk every more? Day I take, I every day I clean this room. I have rules in my house, and you have to buy by my rules. She don't like to clean up. She don't take care of responsibilities when it comes got to her it. baby. Okay. All right, this is what your son Linnell had to say. Watch. I don't trust Michelle at all. She is nothing but a liar. This girl has been lying to me since day one, and I am tired of it. This isn't the first time a woman tried to play me when it comes to DNA. 
I had a different woman lie to me and told me I was the father of her child. This went on for nine months, and guess what? I wasn't the father. Today, I feel like history is repeating itself. I don't know who to believe, my mother or Michelle, but I tell you one thing, baby Lanaya means the world to me. She is my everything, and I pray to God I am her father. In the case of three-month-old Lanaya, Lanelle, you are not. Everyone welcome Savannah to the Mari Show. Now, two weeks ago, Savannah called the show. She called with a request that we don't get too often. She wanted to prove to her fiancé, Michael, that he is not the father of her one-year-old daughter, Asaya. Now, Michael and his mother, Alex, are both certain that Michael is the dad. But Savannah says it is scientifically impossible. So, first off, why are you so sure he is not the father? I'm so sure he's not the father because I know he is when the I father. conceive. Michael is I, Asaya's I, father. He, no, he's not. Yes, I know he when is. I conceived. When he we is met, I was Asaya's already pregnant. Father. Stop talking. I know when I got I'm pregnant. Not you are not there. You are not there. You are not there. I was there. Okay. I know. He wow. is. Okay, Savannah. Asaya has this condition. It's called pica, pica right? Yeah. Where they eat stuff other than food. Yeah, he has pica, actually. Yeah, and he eat, and eats clothes, papers. And yeah, she does that. But what child doesn't put things in their mouth? And she just needs yes, to stay he is out of our father. relationship and mind her business. He is a science yes, father. Yes, he is. Do you think you and Michael will stay together if I show that he's not the father? I do. Well, he might want to leave because he was proven wrong. And he's a mama's boy, and she might convince him, like, she's brainwashed him to do everything else. Does she want but him away from you? I believe so she does. I believe she don't want us together. Okay, we're going to meet Michael's mother, Alex, but before we bring her out, listen to why she and Michael are so positive that he is the father. Watch. Savannah knows damn well that Michael is the father of her daughter, Asaya. Savannah is a liar, and I can't wait to expose her for that. When my son was three years old, he was diagnosed with a disorder called pica. Pica is when you eat non-edible things. Michael still eats paper and plastic. I eat whole rolls of paper towels, pen caps, and the sleeves off of my shirt. My favorite thing to do is to peel the sticker off the back of a lighter and eat it. It's delicious. Asaya does the same exact thing. Just the other day, I know that I am Messiah's father. She looks exactly like me. We even have the same exact mole on our back. Savannah is evil and mean. I am here to protect my son and put a stop to this nonsense. We're going to meet Michael shortly, but here is his mother, Alex. Alex, come here. Nice to see you, Alex. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Have a seat. Okay, Alex, let's calm down here for a second. This is very strange. The mother says your son is not the father. Why don't you believe her? I don't know if she just wants to I be told out him of from the relationship. The beginning. I told him from the beginning he was Michael not the father. Michael is her father. Yeah, in his heart, but not biologically. No, biologically. no there's no yes. way. Why are you yes. in denial? I'm not in denial. Is it because they both have pica? Yeah, 
Yes. But, but she maybe has... she doesn't have pica. Maybe she's just teething. No, she's not. She might be teething, but she does no. it all the time. She does, she's not. a baby. She won't baby eat food. Stuff, babies put stuff in their mouth. She... Nothing I say he believes anymore because of you. Because of you. He doesn't believe anything I tell him. I guess we got to meet Michael, right? Yeah. There he is. Michael, come on out. Here he is. Yeah. She's not your daughter, Michael. You know that. Have a seat. You know it. How would you describe your relationship with Savannah? Our relationship, it was going good in the beginning. Uh -huh. She, when we got together, she found out she was pregnant. Right. She did tell me that there was a possibility that it, Somebody that it else. wasn't mine. Yeah. But then she said that it was mine, and then all of a sudden it went back to there's no possible way well, at all. Well, that when it's she mine. saw that child. That's what convinced her, totally. Right. But you think that child looks like you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Where? She does not look like you at all. Where? How Where? can't you see it? She, look at, look at her nose. Because she looks identical to her mother. Look at her lip. What about this? Oh. this? Because she looks like me. Michael. I ain't listening to none of that. Michael. <laughs> you have a disorder. You think that she has a disorder. Yes, I do. I have a disorder. It's called pica. And right. I was diagnosed when I was three. Right. Just people when with you pica. take something away from a child when they're little that they're not supposed to be putting in their mouth, right. eventually Asaya they eats learn rocks. that she eats, they're she not eats allowed rocks. to put that Who in their mouth. Who swallows rocks? Also, apparently, they both have a mole on the back of their neck. Yeah, it's on the back of their shoulder. They both do have it, but. Yeah. It's a mole. Anybody can How get a mole. Anybody can get a mole. Anybody can get a mole. Anybody can get a mole. Not just by the way. Not, by chance, not... Savannah, let's just let's just talk about in theory here. Okay. You would want Michael to be the yes. father. I would love for him to be her father, but I just know he's not. Well, guess what? what? This is the We'll just find out now. I know you want to be the father. I know you want to be the grandmother. We're going to find out right now. When it comes to one year old Asaya, Michael, you are not. Oh, I told you! 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 for two more DNA tests on 21-year-old Montre and 18-year-old Nick, who both believe that Tracy is their father. But Tracy has some doubts. I, I got doubts about Nicholas because of a previous show that I came on and uh, my Her, daughter, Eurisha, his sister was not mine. His sister. His sister. Yeah, so that made me question him. Here's the thing, Tracy, that everybody should know. These two guys live with you. You treat them as your sons. Always have. Always have. Since day one. And by the way, you are in all of your kids' lives when you find out you're the father. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. 100%. But you have some trust issues with the mothers of these kids. Of course, man. As I, I proud said, man, these women is not loyal nowadays. But by the way, Tracy, Neither are you. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm... Take a look at these young men. Now, you look like them? Check this out. Do that look like me? Really? Really? Do that look like me? This man's six feet tall. I'm five eight. This man weighs 300 pounds. I weigh 160 pounds. Come on, man. Y'all not going to just keep giving me these kids. Y'all not going to just keep putting these kids on me. <laughs> I can't take care of all of them. Why would somebody say that you're the father if you weren't? Why would a woman say that? Look at me, Mer. Tracy. <laughs> Tracy, I love you, but you ain't all that. Check this out, man. All right, okay. All right, okay. You're right. 
Now, your father taught you something about being a parent, didn't he? Yeah, my father taught me a lot about being a parent. I met my father seven times. I see my father. My father ain't took me to no basketball games. He ain't took me to no fishing. He didn't teach me nothing. Well, then let me ask you this. Let's talk about these two. What do you do with Montre? I'm trying to teach them how to be men, like nobody taught me. The first thing you should teach them is not to be the way with women, the way you are. Trace, we're not, one, not, we're not one and done anymore. Why too not? Much, too much responsibility if it goes wrong. You right. You right about that, but what okay. if it go right? Well, you can always make it right if you put a cap on it, kid. I... Okay. Well, you got a point there. You think because Nick is 300 pounds, he can't be your son? Nobody in my family 300 pounds. Nobody. And a dad, see, what happens if he's proven not to be your... Are you going to kick him out? No, I'm not going to kick him out. I ain't kicked none of the other ones out. I ain't stopped messing with none of the other ones. I'm still they daddy. They still eat at my house. Right. They still call me when they need you something. You know these two young men, they love you, but they're mad at you for I bringing this care. up. For bringing this up. For they being grown. on this show. They should understand I need to know. Well, I done, I done been proven not to be somebody else's dad. They just in the long line of questionaries. I want to find out all of the ones that they say mine. Well, I want to know if it is. Here they are. Here they are. Hopefully, your kids. Hopefully. Montre and Nick. <laughs> Nick. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. You think, you think he's your dad, don't you? You think he's your dad, don't you? Yes, sir. You mad at him for bringing you on this show? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you mad for, though? Because you could have brought us on the first time when you brought what's, everybody else. What's the reason that you brought us on? Let me show you something. Look, look, look. But as long as, as, long as we've been with you since You're I was 21. nine years old. You 21. You 21. When you have a child and some chick tell you that's your child, you ain't going to ask no questions? Yeah, I ask questions. But you're not gonna take care. I take care of y'all, man. I do for y'all. It don't matter. Y'all should understand. I done brought everybody else. Why not y'all? You, took you too know long. why y'all don't want to know? Long. Because y'all don't want y'all mamas to look like trash. Well, no. But it's okay no. for me to look like trash. Wait a second. Man, dog. Wait a second. Why wouldn't you want to protect okay your mother? But it's okay for me to look like trash. Well, I don't think they're thinking I know that. They're, I don't look. think they're thinking that. I think they're thinking. I think they're protecting their mothers. Yeah. And maybe, and maybe, me. and maybe it's because they say you're the father because you take care of your own. Like more. Yeah, he been there more since we was little. He, Changing he had my diapers. First birthday. He bought me everything that Taught I wanted, me how you know to what I'm saying? He been there when nobody else wasn't there, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to 21-year-old Montre, Tracy, you are not the father. Oh. When it comes to 18-year-old Nick Tracy, you are not the father. You know what? You know what, Mary? What? I'm so sick of this, man. Okay. Why must I be played with like this, hey, man? Hey, hey. You got to go and tell them you've been their father all of their lives, <gasps> and you will continue to be their father. In an effort to repair their marriage, Tanya has decided to reveal to Chris the identity of the man who she believes is Colby's father. Now, Chris is secluded backstage. He cannot hear or see anything that we're saying. So what have been the last few weeks like? I mean, he's not there. He's not there, Mari. He's still a good dad to all of my children. Oh, he is? Oh, he yeah. He comes to see the kids. Oh, yeah, every day, every morning. He's a great guy. But he so is if, just... he is, if he's such a great guy, why do you cheat on him? Let me clear that up. It's not about cheating on him. When I messed around with different people, me and Chris were on breaks, straight breaks. separation. And I love my husband. Right. I love my husband with all my heart. You want him back? Of course. I love right. my husband. In four days, it'll be seven years. When he but was, when I'm he ready wasn't... to get my skeletons out the closet. Right. And this is a skeleton, boy. This oh, is a yeah. big one. Oh, yeah. Because you think you know who the father of Colby is. I know who the father is. Who might this guy be? A very good friend of both of ours. Of both of you. 
He's been a friend of Chris's for 30 years. Yep. This is a man named Wawa. Scaliwa. Scaliwa, that's his name. Yep. Wawa, unfortunately, is legally blind. Yes, he is. All my children call him Uncle Wawa. So he's around? He's around all the time. Chris doesn't know Wawa's here. Absolutely not. Not a clue. Not a clue. Why are you bringing Chris on to tell him about this? I, I just, I want to come clean. I want, I want my marriage to be right, you know? So what we're going to do now is take down the pictures of Wawa. And now we are going to bring out your estranged husband, Chris. Chris, come on out. How you doing? How you doing? Chris, I want to tell you, I love Chris. He's not... He's... He's been disappointed twice, and he takes care of all these kids. You didn't want to be here today. Between the two upsets with the kids and all, I was like, it's a wrap, I'm done. You have no idea who she might think is the father of Colby. I have no clue. I wish I knew, though. You're going to find out. Turn to him and tell him who you think the father of Colby is. I love you with all my heart, but Colby's daddy is Wawa. Oh! Sit the friend door. What the hell? The guy I went to school with? Scotty Wawa, of all things. This is, this, is, this is what you do to me, player? Man, you're sleeping with my wife, player. She should have told you all Wawa. That. When did you find out that you could be Kobe's father? Uh, I got a phone call probably about like a couple weeks ago that, you know, that she came on the show and right. her and her husband did a test and he wasn't a daddy. So, you know, she called me about it. I was like, oh, no. Nah. What you mean, no? Nah? What you mean, no? Nah? No, I ain't the daddy, you know? Do you feel any difference with Kobe than the other kids? No, nah, I treat them all the same, you know? But you're going to say you're not his daddy, why? I mean, everybody know that, you know, Tanya, you know, Tanya. Know what? Tanya. They know what? Yeah, they know, know what? And, and you don't know everybody know time you get down. You don't know. Get down what? Oh, you was getting down with me. You was right. getting down with me. I'm a man, wow. What do your family say about all this? They don't know nothing about it. They don't know anything. found out two weeks ago. Right. Yeah, you Did know. you tell them about it? Yeah, I told them about you it. You are like, my baby's father. Like, Kobe what? is Why your child. You that? And that boy find out right now, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. When it comes to Kobe, Wawa, you are not. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Time to Everyone, welcome Danielle to The Maury Show. Now, five years ago, when Danielle told her fiancé Mel that she was pregnant, his first question was, is it mine? You see, at first, Mel was not experiencing any of the pregnancy symptoms like he had with his previous children. You know, he, with the others, he had food cravings, morning sickness, but with this one, nothing. So five years later, Mel is convinced that Danielle's four-year-old daughter, Anaya, is not his child. How cute is she? Look at that smile. As soon as you told him you were pregnant, he denied. Yes, Maury. I called him from the hospital to tell him that I was pregnant, and he had the audacity to tell me that that was not his baby and that he wanted me to show him proof that that was his child. Because he wasn't experiencing any of these symptoms. Right, Maury. That still didn't give him the right to say that that wasn't his child. Right, like, right. he knew that that was his baby. But then... Then something else gave him doubts, too, right? Well, in the beginning of our relationship, I had a little incident where I had cheated with someone, but yeah. I didn't go all the through with it. I so, stopped. So, so you didn't go all the way? No. You told him that? Yes, I told him that, Maureen. Did he, he still believe had you? doubt. No, he did not believe me. He did not believe you at all? Not at all. Look at that little girl. Right. She looks just like him, Maury. Nose, mouth, everything. <laughs> like, how can you deny a baby that looks like you? Like, everything, his forehead, his eyes, she walks like him, she acts like him, everything. No, everything she about don't. Naya. But he, yes, but, she does. Yes, she does. But here's the no, thing. No, that's a whole lie. Here's that's a whole lie. See, he has some other people in his family. Yeah, Montana, his cousin Montana. He needs to mind his own damn business instead of being in my It ain't his baby. It ain't his baby. Baby Montana. You need to go find the real dad. 
Whatever. Mind your business. Mind your business. Worry about your We're kids. We're going to meet Montana in a bit later, okay? But see, Montana claims. He, he, to mind his he says he walked in on you and another guy. No, he did not. Because that's what you do. Yes, and he came to the house looking for mail, and I had my pajamas on, and he tried to say that I didn't have one, no clothes. You had a which long shirt on with nothing on it. That's not like. true, Montana. Boy, I had on a t-shirt and some little shorts. That's what I had on, and he went Why back you and he wearing that? And you supposed to be my cousin's it's woman. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. You Don't should call before daddy. you come. Don't find you the need daddy. to call before you come. So, Danielle. One thing Mel is, he's a good dad. Yes, he is a very good father. Even though he doubts the fact that he might not be the father, he loves that little girl. Yeah, he does, and she loves him. Look at that. She's crazy about her dad. So how dare him say that that's not his child? You are. No. It is. Yes, no, it not. is. Yes, she is. Boy, but this, it doesn't matter. When we this, get these results, you're going to see. Have, this must have really disrupted your relationship. Yeah, it has. It's caused confusion in my relationship a lot. I want, I want to read you two statements that Mel's cousin Montana shared with us last night. I caught Danielle braiding some random guy's hair and she was wearing nothing but a t-shirt and some panties. It doesn't matter what I had on. I'm not your girl, so why are you worried about what I'm doing? Worry about your own girl. Also, Danielle can't be trusted. She is scandalous. She pulled me to the side, lifted up her shirt, and flashed her breasts right in my face. That is a Show him a half a <laughs> let alone a <laughs> Everybody, here's your fiance, Mel. Mel, come on out. First of all, I want to congratulate you. Thank you. Thank You're you. a great dad. Thank you very much. But you don't think that's your daughter? That's his daughter. Nah, that ain't my that, baby. Yes, it is. Hey, that ain't my that baby. is your daughter. Look at his head. Look, 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 no, look, 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 look. She don't look 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 like me. Look at this girl. Look at this. Look at this. She looks just like him. She don't look like me. She don't look like me. No, no, no. She look like you. Well, and so, what does that have to do with anything? Well, hold on. That's your baby. Whatever. That's your daughter. Get it. This is really. No. This is yes. really interesting, Mel, because some guys have told me on stories like this, you have the man has these morning sickness. Yes, and sir. I, see, when she called me and told me she was pregnant, right? Right, right. I told her, mm -hmm. I'm not going to believe that till I see some paperwork from the hospital. I showed you paperwork. So she showed me paperwork from the hospital. Right. So I was like, well, I still don't believe it. Why? Because you, <laughs> you didn't feel it. Right, I didn't feel it. You didn't feel so it. I didn't feel it. You had all so, the symptoms. Right, but I, did, I didn't had all the symptoms until like a week later. You know what I'm saying? It so doesn't well, matter. Wait a second. You I was crazy. Wait a second. You did were laying you, down with Did me. you get the you symptoms a week later? So yeah, a week later. Yeah, a week later. Yeah, yeah a week later. Me, so how so, come she's not right, your baby? Who else you was sleeping with other than me? You. Do you believe she slept with that guy? Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, all the way live I do. No. All the way live I do. You best believe it. That's his baby. But that you, is his you, baby. But Hands you stayed down. with That's her. No, she stayed with me. We live together. We live together we now, live but together. she stayed with me. You know, I'm the man. If I wasn't the man for her, she would be here today. What about your cousin Montana? Who cares yeah, yeah. about Montana? That's that's my cousin. We together. Yeah. We together every day. Now, Did he tell you about all these things? Yeah, cause, cause see, be. cause you know he was coming by looking for me. I wasn't there the time that he was coming over. You know what I'm saying? So he told me what was going on with her, and I came to her with it, oh, and I she see. still denied. Did he tell you that he saw her in another in a car with another man? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I really did. What? I really did. It did. That is not it did. true. He didn't see me in the car with he anybody. Saw her in another, he saw her in the car with well, another Well, we man. might as well meet your cousin, yeah, all right? Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 yeah, bring him out. 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 Really? Really? Are you doing this to me? Okay. Mind your business. Okay. Not to, not to Mind your business. 
She says she never showed you her breast. Yes, she did, Maury. She no, I did not. Playing cards. No, I cards. did not. I don't know I what she was right. doing. She no, showed me her breast. You can ask my girl. That's my girl right there. She seen it. How you know? Would you believe Montana over Danielle? Absolutely. You Why? Will. I'm yeah. your girl. Yeah. How you gonna do that? That's my family. I'm your yeah. girl. So what? Yeah. I'm with you every day. It's my, me and you. It's supposed it to be me and you yeah. against the world. Yeah. Not him. That's, that's what you say. Yeah, that's what you say. You don't think that looks like your cousin? Nah, nah I don't look no, like him. How come she don't? I don't look nothing. How you come see the she boys don't? He got, he got How two come? Boys. How come? Don't look nothing How like him. He got a round head. She ain't got no round head. Montana. Down, that's Montana. his baby. Do you see her yeah, in a car with is. another guy? Listen, I was outside in the apartment so we were staying in, right? She was in the car. She got in the car with the wing man. Huh? And uh, huh? 45 minutes to an hour, she come out. Her hair was all messed up. Talking about, I wasn't doing nothing. Smoking the blood. Oh, 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 Montana, you're lying. It wasn't no okay. 45 minutes okay, later. We'll it was see. like two minutes. 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 Your cousin Montana brought his girlfriend here. Yes, sir. That's my friend. Latoya is your friend. Yes. Stand up for a second. <laughs> Latoya has a few things she wants to tell everybody right now. My thing is, for one, she told me that she had a boot thing. For two, she told me she had a sugar daddy. And for three, she told me that she do threesome. She had a threesome before. So, my thing was, my thing was. Was this a long time ago before she was with Mel or what? No, this is why she was with Mel. No. <laughs> this so was as he, no. as he brought more and more things to me and his stuff just started not sitting right. And then I see her on the regular and it's like she's very flirtatious with guys. I'm like, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm starting not to believe this chick at all. Wow. And I could care less if the family don't like me because at the end of the day, me and the family ain't together. It's me and Mel that is together. To four year old Anaya, Mel, you, you are, are not. Everyone, please welcome Tanya back to the morning show. We have to tell you that since the show, Tanya and Chris have put their search for LC's father on hold. Because in light of all those shocking results, however, Chris, her husband, now fears his other son, four-year-old Colby, may not be his child. First of all, you here trying to prove that you was LC daddy when you know I hadn't even slept with you, but now you're up here denying our son. So I have a big problem with that. Right. By the way, is he still playing daddy to LC? Oh, of course. Of course. Every he, day. So Every he's day. a great father. Every day. He's a great dad. He is a great dad. Yes, he is. Okay. All right. According to Chris, he started thinking about all this yep. because of you bringing all these other guys on the show. Plus the nosy-ass family. Nosy as hell. Don't live in my house. Was not there when me and Chris laid down. You know? Especially her. Oh. Especially her. Tanya, girl, that's his that's sister. Her. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's his brother. Yeah, that's his brother. No, no. That's his sister. Okay, sister, brother, whatever. So sister star, she's getting into his head. Oh, yeah. She's always up in his ear. Because it's my brother. Now. He's my brother. It don't matter if he's your brother or your sister. It don't matter. It don't matter. Of course not. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. He's my brother, Tanya. You can't pamper some you both. You a hoe, Tanya. He's my brother. So be here. Tanya, do Chris and Kobe look alike? Yes, they do, Maury. Let me show you. Let me show you, Maury. Look at the eyes, Mari. Look at the nose, Mari. This is my baby's dad. My husband is the father of my children. For the record, did you cheat on Chris around the time you became pregnant with Colby? No, absolutely not. I, I am 100% sure that Chris is the father of my son. So, 
What would you say is the status of your marriage? Are you all together? Are you not together? What's the deal? Let me tell you, Maury. The biggest problem is twice, two different times, two family barbecues, I had to go to his mom's house. I get a call from my son, my oldest, who says, Mom, oh, they over here talking reckless, whatever, you know. So you know what I did, Maury? What? I'll tell you what I did, Maury. This Vaseline, my gym shoes, and an attitude to whoop they ass. I'm tired of this. I am sick of this. Chris is my husband. I love my husband. I love my family. And Chris is the father of all my children. All right. Here's your husband, Chris. Chris, come on out. Here he is. Oh, yeah? We went for you. We went. First of all, you are a man's man, because you are the father to these kids. Well, definitely. That's what, that's what I do. I take care of mine. Even if you're not the biological father of L.C.? He, that, oh, that I take care of mine. As and, far as I'm concerned, L.C. is mine. And how, he would, how would you describe how your feelings are towards Kobe right now? They're the same. I have no, I have no change in my feelings towards my children. They are my children. I take care of them. I'm with them every day. He is. He's a great dad. But are you the biological father of that child? I don't think so. I really don't. What do you mean you don't think I so? Don't see my, I don't see my dimples. I don't see my high cheekbones. OK, because he got a mama. You didn't make by yourself? You didn't make it by yourself? Whatever. You the one who's here. You the only reason we here. No, you're the reason we're here. 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 You started with Elsie. Well, I need to prove to you today that you are his father. Chris, she says you're letting Star put stuff in your in your head. Star voices her opinion on this. Why? Why? Respect... Why? How many diapers she bought? How many pairs of shoes? She don't have to buy none of that. Hey, yeah, yeah, she she got to do something to have a voice about mine. To have a voice about mine. She won't make sure that I'm not being made a fool of. No, you ain't being made a fool of. You being made a fool of with them. Whatever you say, bro. That's go. That's go for. Well, guess what? We might as well hear from your sister Star. All right. This is what she told my producer. Chris, your wife Tanya is nothing but a snake in the grass. On behalf of our entire family, I'm here to give you an ultimatum. You need to choose between staying in this toxic relationship or coming home to your family. Tanya's humiliated you once before, and I know she's going to do it again. When you find out that Kobe is not your son, you better choose your family. Everybody, here's Star. Star, come on out. Welcome to the Mari Show. Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you, here? you don't live in my house. My brother, you don't live in my house. My brother, you don't live in my house. Be here. You don't live in my house. Be here. You don't live in my house. Be here. And he's still my brother, so of course I'm gonna be here. And he's still my husband. 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 Why are you so sure? Nosy, busy, nothing. Tanya is a whore. She has oh. always been. Always been. She has. This is not her first time being Wait here. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is your sister-in-law. Why are you talking like that? Because she don't know how to treat my brother. She's she been playing be my business. brother from the jump. From the jump. They've been married for seven years. Yeah, and she's been a whore since for seven years. Oh. <laughs> Caught in the middle, aren't you here? Yes, sir, I am, boy. Ain't no middle, Maury, because she is a non-factor. Just like she is. Just like she is. Just like she is. Just like she needs to go out and find the real baby's daddy. Your brother has been raising these kids yes, as, he his, has. as his own. Yes, he has. What's wrong with that? Because it's nothing wrong with that, Maury. It's the fact that she does not even know who her baby daddy is. I don't even know who the hell you are. I don't even know who she is. You can't even find the first baby daddy. You think Kobe daddy. looks like your brother? No, I do not. They don't look alike at shall we, all. Shall the we find out the answers nothing, right now? Man. We should find out the answers right now. Why don't we right do now? it right now and find out? <laughs> Chris, yes. what happens if you're not the father? This marriage has seen its course. Bye. 
What about raising this child? I'm still gonna take care of my responsibilities, Morris. That's because that's where I was. Why are you gonna leave that alone? When it comes to four-year-old Kobe, Chris, you are not. <laughs> Some women come on paternity shows because they need financial help raising their children. Others want to prove the paternity of a child for medical reasons. But a handful of guests come here because they just want to prove that they are flat out right. Yeah. Everyone, this is Rachel. And in the audience is Rachel's fiance, Ron. And they are both here to prove to a man named Justin and Justin's mother, Marsha, that Justin is the father of her three-month-old daughter, Rosalind. Not because they need the help financially. They just want to prove to him that he is wrong and they are right. <laughs> what do you think of a guy who denies your child? I mean, you can look at her and you can tell that they look alike. When you told Justin that you were pregnant, was he okay? He was excited. He was ready to be there. He was ready to marry me, be in her life. And then all of a sudden, when you're eight months pregnant, what happened? He dropped me off at my dad's house and never came back. No. Did he give a reason? He said it was because I was too immature and childish. He's the one who left you, but you're the one who's a child. Now, so who has stepped up to take care of, of, of your little girl? My fiance, Ron, he's bought her diapers, wipes, everything. So, you've assumed the father's role here. Yes, sir. Oh, great. You love that little I girl? I love her. I love her to death. I love the both of them. I mean, it makes me happy, you know. What do you think about a guy who turns I, I his just, back? I think it's crappy, you know? I mean, for someone to turn down a child like that, it's childish. You know, I mean, here I am. Here I am being a father, you know? I'm, I'm doing his job. He should step up and be to the plate, you know? What has Justin done for this little girl? He hasn't done anything. I had to do delivery by myself. I was in, in labor for 20 hours and then had a C-section. And he wasn't there. Didn't Justin give you clothes for her? He gave me a bag, okay, of stuff that he couldn't sell on the swap site, first of all. <laughs> Secondly, they were all wet and molded. How, how is my baby gonna wear that? What do you think of his mom? I want my daughter to have her grandmother in her life. This on my son, but Rachel. she wants to sit there and call me names and stuff? That's uh, no, immature, no. that's childish. You need to tell the truth, you are on TV. There are He's people the out there that know, gonna we know the truth. He's you need the to father. speak the truth. Okay, so this is what he and his mother have been saying about you. Let's start with Marsha's statement, all right? Rachel was with so many men, it's disgusting. She was with at least eight other guys around the time she got home. First of all, I, it was maybe three, okay? And we use protection. We use protection. But you know what? She's had more She's to begin sat with. there and more people than oh, I have. Oh, my Lord. I know the father of my children, Rachel. Oh, Do you? Boy. This is what Justin had to say. The baby came out with the darkest head of hair ever. I'm a ginger, for God's sake. She gets that dark hair from me, Maury. Look at your hair. She gets the dark hair. And look hair at from mine. You. It doesn't matter. This is your baby, and you're gonna see it. No, it ain't. It ain't no one gonna Finally, see it. Justin said, Rachel told another guy he was the father, and she told me I don't need a DNA test. I did tell him that, because I was sick of him harassing Just me. Just out of anger. Just I'm you anger, and I'm tired of it. Bad, Here the they are, had a dimple Justin and, and his smile. mother, Marsha. You're gonna see, see you. that you're the father, you know that? Marsha, have a seat. Justin, have a seat. Okay, first of all, do you look like that little girl? Dad don't even look like the baby at all from the pictures that she's given me. Does that mean you've never seen this little girl? No. Yeah, she wouldn't let me. You made it to where I couldn't even call the hospital no, to I see didn't. if you were oh. calling. And then after I had her, I had the decency to call you and let you know no, that you she didn't. was born. No. Yes, I did. No, you I you had the decency to kill her child from day one. 
I talk to and you, you, know everybody, everybody. you won't have anything to do with it. Marcia, you sat here and Marcia, told everybody. Why are you so sure about this? Because I know Rachel, and I have had to pick my son up every time she tells him it's his child, convinces him it's his child, and then tells him, oh, no, it's not yours. It's so-and-so's, or it's so-and-so's. I only told him that so one time. You You've done that enough, at least four times. Right. You don't tell me I it's my child. I'm not going to, hey, hey, I'm not going to stop. You're not gonna sit there and talk to her like that, man. You mean, come on. I don't give a damn. Well, you I don't do. know me. I do. Well, I don't. I don't know you. I don't know you. But I do. I put a girl across the state so that way she could be happy. Guess and someone can take care of her. Guess what? Right. I'm not the one that took off. Come on, sit down. Sit right there. You know, I'm done with your little games. Justin, Justin, that's a little girl. This is not a yeah, game. A game. The child and game. What she's trying to play, she's trying to play a game. I'm not and playing I'm not a game. Playing. That baby's yours. Justin, you kicked Look her out. Look at her. Justin, did you kick her out when she was eight months pregnant? No, I did not, Maury, and I have 100% proof. Listen, we were supposed to work things out, and then all of a sudden you have a new girlfriend, and then you want to constantly tell me about her and rub her in my face. What kind you, of man has a pregnant woman Try stay at her house? Guess what? Where did you have her? Marsha, you're going to get in your granddaughter's life as a child? That shows that that's my granddaughter, you're damn right. Justin, you're going to get in this child's you're life? You're damn right I am, Maury. Do you want him to be the father or not? No, I don't. You don't? No. I want to be the father. I know I'm not the father, but I can provide for that child and make sure that child stays the child. When it comes to three-month-old Rosalind, Justin, you are not... <laughs> Everyone welcome Sierra to the Maury Show. Now, two years ago, Sierra and her fiance Cody agreed to take a break in their relationship because they were fighting too much. So she was feeling down, and Sierra decided to go to a cousin's birthday party, make it a memorable night. It, well, it was memorable, all right. <laughs> because now Sierra has an eight-month-old son named Braylon. Aww. And Cody denies he's the father. Here's why. Me and Sarah was on a break. We were supposed to be thinking about our problems. But instead, she was too busy opening her legs. Sierra had a one night stand, and now she wants me to look like I'm the bad guy. I have every reason to question this kid. Why in the hell should I waste my time and my money on another man's baby? It's Sierra's fault that we will never, ever be a family. I wanted Sierra to be my wife, but at this point, she's just another hoe on the street. All because of one night. Yes, one sir. night. You took a break. Yes. You went to a party. What happened? I mean, we had a break. I went to my friend's birthday party, and I had a one-night stand, but I was woman enough to admit what I'd done. We weren't together. We, we had a break, and I told him. I said, look, I had a one-night stand, and I am pregnant. Did you tell... Oh, you, you told him yes. after you became pregnant. Yes, but we were still messing around at the time. I it see. was, and I had a one-night stand with one other person, I and it see. was a one-time thing. Okay. Who do you think is the father? Cody is 100% that child's father. How do you know that? Mark, look at this. You see those eyes? You see the nose? The mouth? He looks just like him. Does he see that? No. Everybody should understand. You want to be with Cody, right? I do. All right? You want this family to be together. Yes, sir. You are not together right now because of this. Yes, sir. What's he done for Braylon since uh, you've had him? Maybe a pack of diapers and a couple of outfits. But throughout your pregnancy, he was there, He was there throughout the whole nine months of my pregnancy. He was there through the delivery. He was there when I brought the baby home. He stood up. But the first three months after Braylon was born, he decided he was going to deny Braylon. Where is he living now? He's living back in North Carolina, right. and I had to move to Jacksonville, Florida, because he wouldn't get off his ass and go back to work, and we lost our, he, we lost our place. When Braylon turned seven months old, that's when he started to deny him? Well, I would say it was about five or six months, mm -hmm. yes, sir, and All he right. decided to deny him, but he well, was there throughout his whole life. I don't understand why he wants to deny him now. We're going to find out right now. Here he is, Cody. Cody, come on out. You 
were there the whole time? Yeah. All through the pregnancy? Yes, sir. After she told you about that one night? Yeah. What, what, what happened? Why do you deny this child? Because I had a one night stand with someone? It's, that's not even but it. I was still having sex with you, majority time. I didn't just go, I had sex with <laughs> one time. Yeah, one but you time. still hit him up in the inbox, you still talk because to him. Because he thinks that Braylon is his, but I know yeah. you were the father. How? When you slept with me and you slept with him? I slept with <laughs> one time. My conception date was around the time we had sex. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Look, he don't even look like me. Really? Yeah. Do you not see his eyes, Cody? He got brown eyes. My eyes no, are blue. No, his eyes are definitely blue. Yeah, okay. His eyes are definitely blue. What about blue. his hair? He ain't got my hair color. I have brown hair. That's right. my natural hair color is brown. Right. It's amazing how the things change because you were there for all the doctor's appointments, Cody, right? Yeah, ever, ever since I found out that she was pregnant, I went to the doctor's office with her. I even cut the bill for her. Signed my name. It's got my middle and my last name. You signed the birth certificate? Yes. Yeah. Well, if he's not yours, then why'd you sign the birth certificate? Because when I found out I was pregnant, why? you knew. Why? No, no. Why? you knew why? when I got no, pregnant hold on. there was a why? chance because that he was not yours. No. Yes, you ain't did. Even it. You knew. I was there for him because I figured, you know, maybe he is mine, just like our daughter's mine. So okay. yeah, I was there. So if you if you if he's not your son, then what are you, why are you doing this? Because I want to know. Okay, well, we're gonna find out. Or somebody else's. Yeah. And if you yeah, are the father, will. you're gonna step up and you're gonna him. No you're problem. gonna buy diapers, you're gonna take care of him, been. you're gonna buy diapers. Yeah. You don't know what it's no. like to be a single mom. You get money in your pocket, you, don't wanna you can me. go spend it how you, you want to. You don't wanna live me and want the Florida. Every no. time Hurry. I get money, it goes on both of my children. I don't get to lay up on no couch and do what I want to do because I'm I a don't. single mom and I take care of That's both. Both. That's by both. myself. Really? No, by myself. Cody, if this is your child, you all gonna get back together? I really don't know. That's something I have to think about. Do you want to get back together with him? No, I want him to step up and be a father. Well, we might as well find out right now. When it comes to eight-month-old Braylon, Cody, you are not... Everyone, welcome Jose to the Mari Show. Now, for the past 27 years, Jose has only known one person as his father, a man named Jose Sr. But two weeks ago, one of Jose's family members revealed to him that Jose Sr. has major doubts that Jose Jr. is his son. Now, a war has erupted, and only the results of the paternity test are going to be able to bring peace to this family. First of all, let's hear what Jose Sr. has to say. Watch. When I first met Jose's mother, Desiree, we were young kids. Eventually, I slept with her. Five months later, I received a phone call how she's pregnant and I'm going to be a father. I was in total shock, but my first question was, is it mine? Jose's mother told me at her own mouth that she was sleeping with me and another gentleman. Another reason why I have the doubts of being Jose's father is because me and my wife have been trying to conceive a child for 27 years and we have not succeeded. And we've had unprotected sex each and every single time. After Jose's mom passed away, he came to live with me and my wife. He lived with us for about five years. The things that hurt me the most is that he's selfish and he doesn't care about nobody but himself. To the day his mother died, and even after that, I still took him in despite the fact that he didn't want to be with me. It's been five months since I've seen or talked to Jose, and the last words I heard come out of his mouth was, don't celebrate Father's Day, because I wasn't a real father, and I never did nothing for him. I have a fear that he is not my son, because he doesn't have not one quality of mine. If I find out I'm not his father, it's okay, I'm good with it. For the fact I'm adopted, two strangers took me in and raised me, the man I am. Now, I'm paying it forward. What do you think about what you just heard? Okay, so my whole life, I've only known him as my father. My mother has always been straightforward with me. She's always told me everything. She was my best friend, so there's no reason why she's going to hide this from me. But he says he took you in when your mom died? You lived with them for five years? Yes, absolutely. And Was he in your life then? 
Yes, he was there because I was there all the time. I was there. I lived with him. How he about took in school? Was he around when you were No, in absolutely not. He never visited my elementary school. He came once or twice, maybe to my high school. That picture right there, Little League. I played for four years in that league. We won the championship four years in a row, three of them undefeated. He came to two games. Two games. Meanwhile, he never supported me. Meanwhile, it wasn't your father who called us. You called us. Right. So what happened two weeks ago that made you call him? So basically, my family, my family reunion, a family member said to me that he had reached out to this person and given him a photo of somebody that he believed was my father. Another guy. Another guy. Why bring this out now? I'm 27 years old now. Why are you trying to cause me this type of pain now? It, it makes no sense. If it actually makes no picture, sense. I, I'm a father. Why? I am recently why? Have become a father. You would understand and why. Why didn't if you look at the picture? I would never do this to my son. Told you I would, to look at the I would go out and be she a man. Even said, once I you found should look out at the picture that he you might not be my son, done. I would handle it then, then and there. I would not wait 27 years later to do this. Makes no sense. All right. You know what he said, Barney? My whole life. What? You know what he, he said? Like what? That he could disrespect my wife because she's not a real mother anyway. Nobody said this. Those words came out of his okay. mouth. You want by certain way, things from me. By the way, I talking about, I want nothing from you. Way. Talking about your stepmother. I want nothing from you. Right. Your stepmother gave us a statement mm -hmm. that she wanted you to hear. Okay. She said, "Jose, it is a damn shame that this is how things ended up. I guess all the things I did for you didn't mean anything to you. I have never ever tried to keep you from your father." I am the one who tried to bring you and Jose closer. No matter what, we will always love you. <laughs> Maury, she did for me when I was young, when I was a little kid. Right. And then as I got older, when I became not a convenience anymore, because now she doesn't have to treat me all nice, nice to get go with my father, because she already knows she's going to spend the rest, of the rest of their lives together. Then she started pushing me out, How pushing me out? away. How? How? She, she segregated How? from... How? The way she treated me. How? She did not treat me like a son. Why? Because you couldn't follow We're going to end this right now. Two leagues. Two leagues. Two leagues. Maury, before you open that, yes. I want you to understand something. Yes. I don't win here. Why? If because I if he's my son, yes. he's a bad seed. <laughs> now, a bad seed. Two, if he is mine, like I said in the interview, I paid it back to my God. I was adopted to be strangers to me and of raised me. Man does my father what you was a great do. man. This what gentleman kind of is man putting my name to the You went behind my to back to try to break up my family. To the you went behind to the my back and spoke how? to my girlfriend how? and her family and tried to get to break up my family with my how? brand new how baby boy. You, to break up your family? you telling him he's a piece of crap that he doesn't. He's gonna say that he, he wants to be with you. That he's just not gonna care. He's Can gonna desert you. And you told her that I she was gonna end up truth. putting me on. Well, on I spoke Jose. the truth. Jose. Jose. How do you Jose. Jose. Can't say those Jose. things? The truth. Jose. Jose. God wouldn't say that. I'm Jose. Jose. Wait a minute. That's enough. One more thing. One more thing, please. One more thing. One more Point thing. Blank, Since you think he's There's such no a great more. person, what man would allow his woman to pay his rent and tell her, get out? I don't want to be with you no more. All right. Why are we here? Why are we here? Because he brought me here. We're here he for this. He couldn't be private. You were here for this. He couldn't be private. You doubted this for 27 years. He couldn't be private. Years. We're going to find out. You think out. I want to be a TV for this nonsense? Here we go. Yeah, keep talking. When it comes to 27-year-old Jose Jr., Jose Sr., you are not. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. the fuck?